It's hard to imagine that this is the infamous Tivoli Gardens, the place where it was said police could not enter, a self-governing community where Christopher Duddus Koch was president. It seems like any ordinary place, concrete and people, children walking to school, the apartments where they live no longer visible vestiges of the 2010 incursion. The bullet holes in the houses have long been repaired with government funds. The people here are getting on with their lives. It's relatively quiet on the hot early summer afternoon that we visit. We find an elderly woman talking to a young man, both crouched in the shade in front of a food shop. She tells us they call her Miss Pinnis and that she's been here since the beginning, when then-Member of Parliament for West Kingston, Edward Siaga, constructed Tivoli Gardens in 1963, 49 years ago. She's known Dodos since before he was born. I know Dodos, mother, before Dodos, mother, have him. And Dodos was a very nice help in this constituency. Very nice man. Help people. When Christmas, he make fun, treat for the children them, buy them shoes, clothes and all those things. Give lunch money and all those. He was a very nice, he's well missing inside here. When him gone, the whole place changed. But when you broke, you could have got to him and he would have given money and all them things. Eh? He was a very nice man. Everybody missing me. When him gone, the whole place changed. I broke her and want something I've nobody forgot to know. Miss Pinnis's sentiments about Dodos are typical of the residents of Tivoli Gardens with whom we spoke. They all expressed a love for the convicted Don two years after he was extradited to the United States on drug and gun charges, but they wouldn't talk to us on camera. Dodos has been sentenced to 23 years in prison. Despite his notoriety, though, the chilling descriptions of how he murdered a man with a chainsaw, among other crimes, Miss Pinnis refuses to believe he was a criminal. No, sir. He lived here 46 years. I mean, no Dodos mother before she had him. You hear me? I mean, never see Dodos kill nobody. I don't say if it was him, he won't kill too little slap. But if he said kill you, he never kill nobody in you. Nobody say him kill a lie. Them a tell the boy we got to talk about him kill a lie. The boy a dead him a lie. It's a completely different image than the one police have of the president. Senior superintendent of police Terence Bent is now in charge of West Kingston. He says Dodos was dangerous. He was a vector of violence and a highly high-ranking member of a criminal network that spread across Jamaica. England, Canada, and the United States. So he was a high-level drug done and a mastermind criminal in terms of criminal organization within, in particular, Jamaica and the USA. Yet he had eluded police for years. Many believe it was his political affiliation with the Jamaica Labour Party that kept him safe. And in fact, in 2010, after the United States expressed its desire to have Coke extradited, a commission of inquiry revealed that the Bruce Golding administration went to great lengths to keep Coke at home. They would hired the international law firm Manat Phelps & Phillips to facilitate discussions with the U.S. on Coke's behalf. It was a scandal that many believed led to the administration's downfall. Meanwhile, inside the Tivoli Enclave, residents were fiercely loyal, pledging publicly to die defending Dodos. 73 persons did, some of whom it is believed were innocent. SSP Bent was involved in planning the raid over at Area 4 headquarters, about half a mile away from Tivoli. The operations of May 2010 were being planned months before the actual implementation. So there was an anticipation that we'd have to go into Tivoli Garden at some stage. So the turning point was actually when they were beginning to barricade themselves into the community, putting explosives on the entrances, and you could see persons openly displaying um, rifles, which would indicate that there is a threat against the rule of law in the country. Miss Pinnis was inside the community when the police and military came in. We never run, we never run ago. The incursion was done this way mostly, you know. But we live up a court now. I used to live over there, so. And then up the really in there. But after Mr. Fiago built up there, so I went up there, so. So most of the incursion was done this, you know, this side. They only walk through, but they do much damage. It wasn't easy getting people to talk to us. Even Member of Parliament Desmond Mackenzie refused an interview without explanation. 
Another young man, though, Christopher, was also there and recalls what some of his friends experienced. Youth like we, you know, we have to be afraid of them, of course, because them come in and if youth like we, you see, as young youth, them take disadvantage of them, probably not trouble with women and all them, but we as youth, them rough you up and all them things, you see me? Rough you up a certain way and, you see me? Watch it now. Them then, yeah. Youth like we, them all, like when the carol go up and wait in their arm, um, what them call us, sir? Camp. But camp, you see me, them put up on um, chest for lie down. You get me? Me never go, but my friend them, they come back, cause them never, and everybody them really care away, you, know, you see me, a certain way. You see me, but me they have a bridge in the they tell me what the situation was like up there. See how, how them put him on them belly fill, fly down, and them run over them, you know, them shoes and them little things there, you see me, and deal them away. What Christopher is referring to happened during the incursion. The security forces rounded up hundreds of young men from the community and kept them detained at the national stadium. Some claimed they were abused. So, having lived through those experiences, what is the relationship like between the police and the community now? We got mixed feelings. Tell the truth, I'm not really 100% of a problem with them being in here, you see, because I'm not telling like them help secure the place, in a sense. But sometimes, you see, you have a couple of them who take disadvantage of you. You see, with them who just see you and just take a set by you, see, me, I want to do things and all them things. I say, nah, them as, them as a police, you get me the post, you're supposed to protect you. Sometimes them, you see them talk to you a certain way, like them are thugs and you know, I saw them deal with you. The crime not really going in it, you know, you know. I don't want to be out of the street. But for Tibali itself, the crime are not going in it, you know. But I remember the police, them there, you know. See them just a, so they just a patrol, and them take over the place you now. The police and soldiers. How you feel about that? Eh? Mm -hmm. At times we then leave. Them not really molest me. But one thing with them now, them, you can't keep no party and no dance till the latest. You can't keep it is one o'clock. So I don't know whether that make the change. Even miles out there at Spanish Town Road, the latest thing, and film thing you used to keep till all daylight. So it cut off, no, it can't keep till maybe one thirty or so. SSP Bent says that the security forces have taken their rightful place in Tivoli and that the community has responded positively. Police are now handling cases that the gang used to deal with. We are deluged by reports that would normally come to the police in a previous dispensation, domestic disputes, printing issues. Those issues that would have been dealt with by the criminal gangs are now being dealt with by the police as it should have been in the initial period. So we're seeing more reports coming to us about domestic issues. We're looking at the whole issue of juvenile, pregnancy, delinquency, trancy. Those are issues that we have to be dealing with. So what we're doing is training the communities to help themselves. Instead of trying to deal with all of it by ourselves, parenting seminars, domestic violence seminars and training to equip the citizens to deal with some of these on their own. Crimes did take place, murders took place. Persons were shot, persons were assaulted and beaten because they were alleged to have taken crimes. So if you look at the analysis, people were being shot, were being killed because they committed crimes. Only that the crimes were not being reported to the police. So we didn't have actual data to measure the level of crimes being committed in the area. What we're seeing now is that we're able to measure, assess, and to treat with the crimes. But they, in those days, crimes were being committed. Persons would, would have committed a crime. They were not tried in the first. There was no trial. So natural justice has gone through the window and persons were shot in their knees, shot in the ankles, killed sometimes. And that is not anything that we want to be proud of as Jamaicans. He will not be replaced as long as the Jamaican police force, Jamaican army are here and that the people continue to support us the way they're supporting us. In some, in some ways, many persons have benefited from his illegal enterprise, but the general community is, is saying that they've had enough and they want you know, a more positive thinking. I, I spoke to his brother recently, Lane Coke, and I told him that we are trying to change the concept and the perception of Tivoli Gardens as being a place that law exists in an illegal system. If you are going to be a part of this community, it must be in the condition that you are going to support a positive way of living and that the days of the past will never return to Western Kingston, Tivoli Gardens, then and Town. What was his response to that? I think he got the message quite clearly. You know, when you find nobody, take up that the responsibility because he was a very helpful person. I may mean, tell you that. You know, I go find nobody take fame position. Every day I hear people talk about him. When we miss him, 
They said them should have game 10 years instead of one game 23. They not deserve that. But it was a great help to win inside there in everything. Any problem you go to, him always assist. You understand? Christmas you get your treat. You get your money. Independence is the same thing. Goal in it, get all money, treat and all them things, eh? You understand? It was a great help to it. So we miss him. I go find nobody full film space here. It will be another 23 years until Christopher Coke has a chance of returning to Tivoli Gardens. That's 23 years for the community to move on.